On Friday, the 5th of March 2021, an asteroid classified by NASA as a potentially hazardous asteroid flew past Earth at a safe distance of 10,471,577 miles from Earth. But then, it's going to be coming back again in 2019, and we're going to be answering them today in this video. So stick around until the end as we critically examine all there is to know about the asteroid that might hit our planet in 2029. Apophis 99942 is an asteroid that has caught the attention of both scientists and the media given certain special characteristics and factors surrounding the asteroid. Apart from the fact that Apophis is one of several near-Earth asteroids and space debris that will be flying too close to the Earth, there are both advantages and disadvantages we can derive from this celestial flyby. An advantage is when it flies by, we'll be able to study specifically its shape, size, and probably its interior composition. But what is the guesstimate of the size and shape of the Apophis asteroid? Size and Shape of Apophis The Apophis asteroid is a relatively big asteroid. Across its shortest axis, it measures 170 meters, while across its longest axis, it is a whopping length of 450 meters or 1500 feet across. By comparison, this is like combining five football fields together. And if you're not a lover of sports and can't seem to put that comparison into perspective, then how about the fact that it's much taller than the Empire State Building in New York City? Some scientists believe that it is shaped and double lobed like a peanut. No one can say for sure at the top of Manhattan, New York City. That is indeed massive and accounts partially for why researchers are so interested in it. It is too big to overlook because if it slams into Earth, the results will be devastating. We're going to talk more about that later, about what's going to happen if Apophis slammed into the Earth. 2029 Travel Log of Apophis over Earth Apophis is set to pass by the Earth on the 13th of April 2029. Have you noticed that this Apophis of a guy seems to love zipping by the Earth only on Fridays? It was a Friday on the 5th of March this year when it flew by, and it's going to be doing it again on a Friday in 2029. Friday the 13th no less. It will be so close and so bright when it crosses above the Earth in 2029 that it can be seen with the naked eye without the use of a telescope. It's expected to cross the Earth starting from the Southern Hemisphere where it would be visible in Australia's night sky as a speck of blazing light. From there it's going to cross the Indian Ocean and be visible to Western Asia before continuing on its westward journey crossing the planet's equator and over the African continent. At about 6 p.m., it's going to be so fast, and its closest shave with the Earth will be while it's crossing the Atlantic Ocean in just 60 minutes. It will continue on its journey, and it's going to have zipped over the US by 7 p.m. Overall, it will get brighter and pick up incredible speeds as it passes by Earth. In fact, it will be so bright, it will be as bright as the stars which make up the Little Dipper. Given its size, shape, and brightness, just how close will this chaotic asteroid fly by our planet? How dangerously close to Earth will Apophis fly in 2029? Apophis will fly so close to Earth to the point that it will come in between Earth and its moon, which is safely located at 384,400 kilometers or 238,855 miles away from the Earth. Not only is it going to be flying closer to the Earth than our moon, its trajectory will put it even closer to us than our geostatic weather predicting satellites. It would fly close to our planet at a safe distance of 31,900 kilometers, 19,800 miles. Yes, that is quite close, but it is safe provided that nothing alters its course. The chance of asteroids with the size of Apophis flying too close to the Earth happens about once in a thousand years, and that's why scientists at NASA and other space observatory institutions are excited about the 2029 Apophis close flight to Earth. Like all other asteroids, Apophis is a remnant of the formation process from our own solar system, which happened over 4.5 billion years ago. Apophis must have gotten separated millions of years ago from the main asteroid belt, which is located between Mars and Jupiter, and the gravitational force of a planet as large as Jupiter might probably have been responsible for the asteroid's separation from its main belt. Since then, it has and will continue to rotate around the Sun, with the orbit and rotation cycle changing slightly upon every completed rotation cycle. Let's move on to more realistic questions. What would happen if Apophis impacts with the Earth? Apophis impacts. What would happen? We can neither predict currently or correctly, nor imagine precisely what exactly would happen if Apophis happened to change its trajectory and then slam into the Earth. This is because 
there's just not enough experience with Earth being impacted by asteroids as big as Apophis, and we surely hope that there won't be any, because while it won't be an extinction level event, it would nevertheless be a catastrophic one. Another factor that impedes precise calculation of the destructive force of Apophis would cause is that history has shown that asteroids often cause more destruction than predicted models would have ever calculated. While we can't say precisely, we can however paint a picture of what would happen drawing from previous space object impacts that Earth has seen in the past, and then we can just guesstimate. Three of such space object impacts will be considered. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. The first and most popular is that the asteroid that wiped out the majestic dinosaurs in the mass extinction event which happened 66 million years ago, well, this is a good one to look at. The asteroid that wiped out about 75% of all living things on Earth, but that particular asteroid was about 10 to 15 kilometers wide, creating a 180 kilometer wide crater named Chix. 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 Chixalub. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that one right. Maybe the editor can put that one on the screen. And producing about a 1.8 times 10 to the power of 8 megatons of destructive power. Apophis is not even up to half a kilometer wide, let alone being 10 to 15 kilometers. Hence, it can't cause such a massive global extinction event as the KPG asteroid. So, onto the next and more recent asteroid impacts named Tunguska Meteorite Impact. Tunguska Meteorite Impact. The Tunguska Meteorite Impact is the most powerful of all near Earth objects since the beginning of the 20th century. It happened in 1908 close to Russia's Podkamenya Tunguska River, a sparsely inhabited area in Serbia, as it exploded at about 5 to 10 kilometers above the Earth's surface. This singular 50 to 190 km wide meteor exploded with a force that is 1,000 times greater than that of the atomic bomb that the US dropped on Hiroshima. The force produced by the Tunguska explosion leveled 80 million trees over a distance of 2,000 square kilometers and shattered the windows of cities that are several hundred kilometers away. The meteor was expected to be about 50 to 190 meters across in diameter. Since Apophis is more than twice the size of Tunguska, well, we can expect more than twice its destruction. And may God help us if that happens to be a densely populated area unlike the Tunguska site. Comparison to Beirut Port Explosion Comparison can also be drawn with a more recent explosion, which happened in Beirut, August 4th last year. This port explosion resulted in the death of at least 207 people, injuries of about 7,500 people, 300,000 homeless citizens, and property damage worth over $15 billion. This was the result of a one kiloton explosion. Now imagine if Apophis were to impact a densely populated area with what planetary society projects would be equal to more than 1,000 megatons of TNT, or tens of hundreds of nuclear weapons. This is definitely not something we would want to see, and that's why scientists are working around the clock to ensure that even though the projected trajectory of Apophis puts us in a safe 2.7% chance of impact, nothing is to be left to chance. Researchers say that at least 10 years prior notification is needed if Earthlings wish to avoid or deflect a near-Earth object, an EO, impact, such as the Apophis asteroid. Thankfully, Apophis was discovered 25 years early and preparations are already ongoing. What scientists and researchers are currently doing? As such, NASA, scientists, and military outfits around the world are already engaging in several near-Earth object avoidance slash deflection programs and studies. Two of such popular programs are the Asteroid Impact Avoidance AIA field of study and the Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART. DART is a collaboration between NASA and ESA. These and other such programs have been necessary not just because of the imminent passing of Apophis, but because there are tens of thousands of Apollo, Atens, and Atira group of asteroids in our solar system. Apophis currently belongs to the Atens class of asteroids. There's no need to panic about the expected, incredibly close passing of Apophis over the Earth in 2029. Instead, we should see it as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to learn more about these near-Earth objects, and also as an opportunity to see our sky being lit by a passing asteroid without the need of a telescope. By March 30th, 2036, when it will fly by the Earth once again, it will do so at a further 8.4 million kilometers, 5.2 million miles. So there's really no need to panic yourself or for future generations. Thanks for watching, and while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.